Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Flicks on WatsMojo.com. Today we're going to check out the top 10 list of the most brutal deaths in animated adult cartoons. Let's hop in. <gasps> Starting off with some happy tree friends eaten by a skunk. Welcome to Watch Mojo, Snake. and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 brutal deaths in adult cartoons. <laughs> After dinner, can I maybe borrow Morty to help the lost Rick get back to his primate-based reality? For this list, we'll be Ooh, looking at Guardians our favorite violent demises Guardians across the adult animated God TV shows. It. Since some of these are major characters, a spoiler warning is in order. Which character Boy, do you love. think had the most brutal death? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 10, The Praxis Family, Harley Quinn. Harley's animated adventures show that while she has no problem that. with murdering her enemies, she's not really on board with killing innocents. Damn it, that guy ratted us out! I'm calling off the mission. Relax. You do your thing, I'll keep them busy. However, she learns her limits the hard way when she teams up with the Queen of Fables. Harley recruits the villain to help oh her steal a personal force field from Star Labs. Uh, Harley, a moment. What are you thinking? Uh, that the only way to get the Legion of Doom's attention is that weather machine and she's gonna help me steal? But when a family is having their reunion nearby, the Queen tries to make it so that there aren't any witnesses. While we don't see the murders, we do see the resultant carnage from the big bad wolf, and it is vicious. Things don't go well for the sole surviving member either when he tries to get his vengeance. I didn't leave anyone alive. Did you see anyone alive? Eh. Eh? What is eh? I may have seen one person left alive. Number one nine, soul. Professor Anders, the legend of Vox Machina. Percy's vendetta against those who killed his family results in some pretty violent deaths, but none are more brutal than Professor Anders. As much as I loathe having to teach you, I relish watching you spend alive. By the time Percy and his allies catch up with him, he's developed some pretty troublesome skills, using his silver yep, tongue to force guy. others to fight for him. He, li he literally has a silver tongue! Oh my god! He literally has a silver tongue! And greet our guests. All seems lost for the gunslinger as his teammates bear down on him. But he expertly ricochets a bullet into Anders' face, removing more than his magical tongue. We're not sure which is more disturbing, the visuals or the disgusting sound design. Anders' pain must be unimaginable. Though luckily for him, Percy puts him out of his misery soon after. You're the face I saw when murder entered my heart. Oh, oh don't look, judge hold me, on. Anton. And we're back, let's go. Number eight, Brian Griffin, Family Guy. Seeing dogs in movies always makes us nervous for their well-being. Would you we really didn't say, know we had to be paranoid about brutal? cartoon TV dogs too. God, look at this day, huh? I wouldn't say his death is brutal, but it's definitely over the top. Like for one, it didn't have to be that violent. So only over the top, really. You know, usually I'd be sitting inside writing, you'd be working on one of your machines, but here we are enjoying it. In Family Guy's 12th season, the show seemingly said goodbye to Brian after he was run over by a car. The suddenness of the event and the image of Brian's oh, mangled body goes. shocked fans everywhere. Mom, is Brian going to be OK? I don't know, Meg, but this is the best veterinarian in Quahog. Brian's getting the finest care there is. In fact, a change.org yeah, petition no. appeared almost immediately to see him revive, garnering thousands of signatures, including mine's. It seems that was Wait, always really? the plan, as Stewie saved wow. Brian with time travel two episodes later. Still, it was completely brutal, and there was nary a dry eye when the Griffin family said farewell at the vet's office. I mean, when you have to say goodbye to a dog, you don't want to see them like that. No number one does. Number seven, Irish mobster, Archer. Although he's never dog, named, dog. this Irish mob member goes out in spectacular fashion. But a hundred people surveyed number one answers on the board. Name the douchebag who's in charge. After finding out that the medication for his breast cancer <laughs> is fake, Archer goes on a ludicrous rampage to punish those responsible. The episode is filled with you know, Archer riddling goons with bullets, though the best kill, by far, doesn't involve a gun. 
What, what are you doing back there? Uh, don't worry about what I'm doing. Concentrate on what you're doing. To find the location of the mob's boss, sorry, Archer gets very creative with how he interrogates one mobster. Turns out, inserting a grenade in someone's nether regions is extremely convincing. However, once he has the info, Archer mistakenly calls it a smoke grenade, which it very much isn't. The comedic timing of the <laughs> yeah, monster exploding no. is genius. What? 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 What, Lana? Number six. That was not a Scoop smoke grenade. F is for family. Always fantastic, John DiMaggio. Scoop Dunbarton was as self-centered and mean as he was idiotic, even before he was kicked in the head by a horse. Here's the coffee you wanted. I didn't ask for no bean juice. In the season two finale, Frank attempts to get rid of Scoop by drugging him and sticking him on a plane, but a hijacking threat ensures uh -oh. a more permanent solution. No, 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 you can't do this today. Although Scoop ends up fighting the hijackers, he also steps on a suitcase bomb while he's cheering for himself, sending scoops of Scoop flying everywhere. That's already pretty gnarly. But the accident also shoots a laminated happen? newspaper into his uncle's there neck, killing him as well. I think Dunbarton would have wanted us to take the rest of the day off. Number five, Fish Lady, Hit Monkey. One could probably guess that a Fish series about lady? a monkey assassin would have some pretty violent deaths. Monkeys don't shoot guns. Monkeys don't even use tools. Actually, sir, I saw a documentary. Shut up! And one would be absolutely yeah, okay. right. In the show's second episode, Hitmonkey and his ghostly companion Bryce journey to Tokyo and are met by a surprisingly vicious foe known only as Fish Lady. Hey, there he is! Okay, clearly I misjudged this chick. Hitmonkey squares off with the villain in a processing plant, and if you'll excuse our pun, it isn't long before he gains the upper hand. After losing her arm, Fish Lady is knocked to a conveyor belt that oh. quickly carries her to a buzz saw. Sadly, oh Hitmonkey and Bryce can't get any information from her before she goes through the saw. Do you really not know any sign language? <laughs> Number four, Dracula, Castlevania. Dracula Wait. may be out for vengeance huh. over the death of his wife, but he causes untold numbers of innocents to suffer cruel, horrifying deaths. You must be the Belmont. I mean, the guy just wanted to live in peace. The like, literally, he wanted to live in peace. He found a woman that loved him and got married. Next thing he knows, his home is burned down. His wife is presumed dead. And I think she actually is dead. And, and the newborn child is missing. What the fuck do you think he's gonna do? No, he's gonna raid fucking war. War, I can't talk. Like, he's gonna start ripping shit apart. But wouldn't you do that if your family just... One day, anyone would. Fight me in the comments, I tell you. End of your line. His son Alucard promises to stop him and does so in the penultimate episode of the second season. After a lengthy battle through the castle, Dracula comes to his senses, feeling remorse that he's currently trying to murder his son. My boy. I'm, I, I'm killing my boy. Alucard takes advantage of this, driving a stake into his father's heart. It isn't a short death, with Dracula's skin rapidly decaying. Trevor God, lobs his head off lying. and Sypha burns his remains for good measure. Though we feel the overkill is certainly warranted. Alucard, did we do it? Get energized oh, damn it, come on now. And we're back. We did. Number three, Hologram Rick, Rick and Morty. Oh, Rick yeah, and that's Morty brutal. features all manner of cartoonishly savage deaths. This season four episode alone has more than its fair share. Truth is, anyone that knows how they're definitely gonna die is either boring as hell or about to get shot down. With Morty obsessed with death crystals that show him the future, Rick is accidentally killed in a ship crash. Hologram Rick then follows Morty around, trying to persuade him to help revive the real Rick. That's your right. I just want to remind you that some people can't hold anything and can never die. So that's a little offensive to me. Oh, okay. Hello, Meanwhile, Rick. Shut up. Rick hops between clone bodies in different realities, with an alternate wasp version of himself eventually helping him return home. They save Morty, but the hologram gains the power of the crystals, 
Wasp Rick comes to the rescue again, more stabbing than the Hologram crystals. Rick in the eye and injecting him with larva. When the baby Wasp Ricks burst through his face, it's both hilarious and utterly disgusting. <laughs> oh, hey, thanks uh, for the cut. Sorry I didn't listen to you and tried to kill the whole world and stuff. I guess I gotta learn how to live in the moment a little more. Oh. Number two, Chef, South Park. Although Kenny is the literal poster oh. child of brutal deaths on- Yeah, Chef's death in South Park was so over the frickin' top. Like, I honestly thought of a way they could honest redo Chef leaving it and uh, Chef- uh, You know who I'm talking about! His leave of the show? I know I thought of a way that could actually be better and leave on a more positive note instead of, of him just- but I'm not gonna go into detail about it right now because that would be way too long. South Park? We doubt the show will ever top the barbaric demise of Chef. You say he's never been like this before. No, Chef has always been super cool. After the character's voice actor, the late Isaac Hayes, suffered a stroke, a statement requesting he be released from the show was reportedly made on his behalf by his Scientology entourage. In response, the creators had Chef return, recycling previously recorded lines and giving him one of the most insane TV deaths we've ever seen. When somebody's brainwashed, it can take months, even years to reverse the process. Brainwashed by the Super Adventure Club, Chef is stopped moments from escaping. After the bridge he's standing yeah. on is struck by lightning, Chef catches fire, falls into a ravine and is impaled, then gets shot and is ripped apart by a mountain lion and a bear. What a way to go. You see, that's oh why they God. could have done this so much they better. Chef. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest would videos. Have been so much you have the option to be notified for occasional videos idea. or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. The Guardians of the Globe. Oh, yeah, Indian that was brutal as No hell. Grayson, a.k.a. the ultra-powerful Omni-Man, turned plenty of regular people into Pope in Invincible's first season. So none of us signaled the alert. Oh, God, what's going on? Is it bad? However, his most ferocious moment was the violent dismantling of the Guardians of the Globe. Nolan set a trap for his superpower ally. Out of all seven of them, who do you think had more brutal? Well, I gotta go with, uh... Darkwing, considering that his head just goes as at the end of the first episode. Despite being vastly outnumbered and taking one hell of a beating, the team was unable to stop him. Someone must be controlling him. He would never do this. It's hard to say which member meets the most unsettling end, though most of them get their heads crushed. Regardless, it was hard to pick our jaws up off the floor by the end. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Red Rush got his head crushed, Martian. And man has heart ripped out. Amphibious has had his battered off. War woman had her neck snapped. And immortal was punched through the chest. As and decapitated with a slice. Darkwing thing was grabbed, and battered into the ground, hit again. As that just like, and then green shadow just that was it. Like the that, like that old meme of when you face palm too hard and you got the hand going through your head kind of thing. That's what happened to her end it was a glorious display of animated gore and a terrific early twist for the seemingly heroic character what? Oh, man. did you enjoy this video check out these other clips well folks that's what we're going to end off today's video i hope you enjoyed link to the original in the description and i'll see all of you folks next time when we flick on peace out